With more Broncos hitting the streets and the weather getting warmer, I've heard a lot of horror stories about people damaging their soft tops and also scratching the bars when lowering and raising the soft top. So today my wife's gonna do a quick tutorial on how to properly raise and lower the soft top without causing any damage to your awesome new Bronco. Okay, so to completely put your soft top the whole way back, the first thing you have to do is remove the three window panels. Um, a lot of people are breaking clips because they're just grabbing it and yanking it. Um, I have found the easiest thing and the first step that you wanna do, you're gonna lift up on the Velcro. And the first thing you're gonna do is unclip the three clips that are at the top. This gives you a great way to be able to go in and grab the top and gently pull it out instead of having to yank it. So you're gonna pull out that side, pull out this side, and when you do that, you're gonna slide it straight out of the track. So you're gonna do the same thing on each side. Here's the track that you're gonna slide it out of. three clips. Gently pull it out of the track on this side. Out of the track on this side. And slide it forward. So it's fairly similar in the back. Now when I first got the Bronco, I was so excited to get the top off. I'm like trying to lean over the, the wheels and it wasn't a big deal, but now that we have the 35s on, it's really hard to reach. So for me, I'm 5'5", five five. it's a little bit tall for my reach. If you open the tailgate, you have much better access to everything. So it's the same thing. You're gonna un-Velcro in the back clips along the top. Now on the side, there's a guide in here. It clips, you're gonna pull that back. And there's a little piece up here that's in a channel and you're gonna pull that down. Do that on both sides. Pull it out and slide straight out the channel. Okay, so once you get the back three panels off, you want to make sure that you fold this back down. If you don't, the plastic and the buckles get crunched pretty good whenever you take the top the whole way back. All right, and then in order to take it the whole way back, the first thing that we have to do is flip the two levers on the inside. So this is the same as if we were doing the half back. You're gonna pull that down, pull this down. And then flip the half back. So whenever you do this, they do provide you with a piece of Velcro that you can connect here to secure this back. Um, I only use it every once in a while. So if I know I'm going on the highway, I'll put it on there. The one thing to make sure that you don't do with that Velcro is don't push on this seal. Because if you do, you're going to damage it and water is going to be able to get in. So usually I try to, to loop it straight through here. It's right on the inside. You can Velcro it through there. In order to put it 
the full way back, the next thing you're gonna have to do is use this little lever here. This is gonna unlatch on this side and on the passenger side. So when you push there, you'll hear a little bit of a click. You're gonna lift it up, slide it back, and once it gets back, you're gonna push, you'll hear a click, and you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So same thing here, push, you'll hear a click, it's locked in place. Okay, and it seems like a lot of the struggle that happens when you're um, taking the, the Bronco top off is actually putting it back on. A lot of people struggle um, and have scratched this uh, roll bar right here. Um, I know a lot of people are putting like a film clear coat on it and they, there's even a rubber thing on it now that, that will protect it. But I, I've had this since September of last year and have put the top up and down multiple times and have not scratched it. The biggest thing is paying attention when you're pushing it up that you're not pushing into the car. And if you feel it leaning another a certain way, just make sure that you're bracing it so that it doesn't have the chance to rub. So same thing as putting it down, you're gonna use this lever to unlock it to push it up to the half top. So when you do this, lift it up. And then you're gonna hear that click in again. And that means that it's up, it's secure. It's not gonna come off from there. I always have to step up to get this to flop over. Do not slam this, set it down gently. Make sure that your top is over. And then you're just gonna lock it back in place. Flip that up flip this up usually I can't do it from this side oh did it and then you're gonna put your windows back in all right so I'm gonna point out some things before we put the back window um, panel on so right here you can see that there is a tube this tube is what you are going to slide through this channel right here right here there's a clip. This is what goes right here. And right here is a tab. This tab goes into this channel right here. And those are the, the main components of this back window besides the clips that go across the top. So the back window really is the most cumbersome. It's hard to get a good grip. It's hard to get these lined up the first try so um <laughs> you may hear me swear a couple times there we go so once you get it in you're just gonna pull it the whole way across Sometimes you pull it too far, sometimes not far enough. You can line it up with the clips that are up top. Okay, so once you get all of those clips, you need to come over here to the corner. So I pointed out the tab gets put right in this channel this clip right here gets connected there so that's in the channel this is lined up and it it literally already popped in that's how easy it is to make sure that it's secure we're going to go on the other side flip this up so you can see where you're going tab 
goes in the channel, bottom part gets hooked in, and it clicks. And that's how you get the back. I usually don't worry about this till after I have the windows on. All right, so these side window panels, this seems to be where everybody is breaking this piece of plastic right here. Please note, this is not a break. This is how it is made. Um, and this makes it easy to slide it in in the back. So this front piece will go in this groove right here. This back piece will go here. The tricky thing about this one is with the channel, there's a split piece here. So sometimes once you get this one threaded through, you have to finagle it a little bit to get this piece through. We'll give it a shot. So again, I have my first piece through, sliding through, kind of have to mess with it a little bit more. I find at this point, if I put my hand and put pressure, it's easier to get that second piece through. So we're where we're supposed to be. I'm going to connect the three buckles up top. Maybe. Make sure that slides in the track. Pull this nice and tight at the bottom. And then this is where you're gonna put that piece of plastic on the inside and you're literally just gonna roll it. And it goes the whole way up. From there, you'll secure your Velcro. Make sure all of your pieces are in place and then do the other side. All right, so that's how you do this properly. Now, like most of you, we waited an entire year to get this vehicle and we were fortunate enough to pay over sticker. Uh, so the last thing we want you to do is damage your Bronco. So if you have any questions, please, please put it in the comments. My wife will get back to you uh, really quickly. And uh, if you have to watch the video twice, please do that. We'd rather you sit down, take the time to learn how to do this before you attempt it your first time because we definitely do not want you to damage your Bronco. And also my wife, uh, she has long fingernails, didn't have any issues doing that. Um, to get the top down, it takes about five minutes. To put it back up, it takes about 10. And of course, if you had someone helping you slide the windows in, that, that might be a, a little easier, but putting the top up and pulling these windows out is where people are causing damage. So please, please watch this video, do exactly what she did, and you won't have any issues. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for checking out my channel. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and Facebook, and have a great day.